Hey everybody, Dominique here. Welcome back to my channel. I am so grateful to have all of you guys here. Today's video will be focusing on tips for you guys to maximize your post relaxer wash day routine. So there are a few steps that I use to maintain the healthy nature of my hair and I wanna share them with you. So let's get right into it. As always, before we get started, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe. Tap the little bell next to the subscribe button in order for you to get all the notifications and never miss an educational video. And if you have a friend who needs help with her relaxed hair, share my videos with her. So I am officially one week post relaxer, nine days to be exact. And what I normally do is the night before I wash my hair, I will pre-poo with something really hydrating. This time I was in Toronto and I went to the Juju hair salon and I got a beautiful hairstyle done. And the hairstylist used the Shea Moisture Hibiscus and Coconut Curl Enhancing Smoothie in my hair to make my hair nice and frizz free. And what I discovered when I took down the cornrows was that this Curl Enhancing Smoothie made my hair so nice, soft, and shiny that I'm going to start incorporating that product into my hair care routine. So I basically use that as my pre-poo. That is step number one. So step number two is using Olaplex. So Olaplex is essentially a bond builder. The relaxer process breaks down the bonds in your hair in order to make it straight. This stuff is excellent at building back up those bonds in order for you to have strong, healthy, relaxed hair. So the instructions of Olaplex number three is to apply this to damp hair. But I find for me, it works better when my hair is a little bit more wet. So I'm going to take down my hair and I'm gonna hop in the shower now to make it damp. Okay, I just got out of the shower and I wet my hair. All I did was squeeze out the water. I didn't bother, I don't towel dry my hair. I didn't bother squeezing it out with, you know, my husband's big t-shirt. It's just nice and I would classify this as wet. It's not sopping wet, but it's wet. Now I'm gonna apply the Olaplex. So I just applied that, I would say, quarter size amount to, I would say, one quarter of my hair. And I am working it from root to tip. I'm just going to twist it, just to keep it out of the way. There's, there's no need to twist your hair. I just feel like sectioning it off allows me to better see where I applied the Olaplex so I don't over apply and waste the product. Okay, the Olaplex has been applied and I'm gonna leave it on for 10 or 15 minutes. I'm also going to wrap it my hair up in plastic just to, you know, I, I love how heat penetrates products better into your hair. Classy. So funny. And I'm just gonna tuck those twists in. All right, I'm gonna go get some lunch. See ya in 10, 15 minutes. Okay, I've left the Olaplex on my hair for 20 minutes. I had planned on only leaving it in for 10, but I had my lunch, got carried away, and now it's time to rinse it out. So I'm gonna hop in the shower. I'm going to rinse out the Olaplex, and I'm going to shampoo my hair with a hydrating shampoo. So this is the shampoo that I'm gonna to use today. It is the Tresemme Ultimate Hydration Shampoo. This is a great budget-friendly shampoo. It does not leave your hair feeling stripped. I quite like it. Okay guys, I apologize. I showed you the wrong product. I showed you, I did not wash my hair with the Tresemme conditioner. I washed my hair with the Tresemme Ultra Hydration Shampoo. I need to put on my glasses. Anyways, I love this because it is thick, rich, does an effective job at cleaning my scalp, and it doesn't strip your hair. I wanna show you what this stuff looks like up close because it's magical. I mean, it looks like a conditioner. That doesn't even look like shampoo. It's so thick and rich, it's lovely. 
So as you can see, I'm not using a standard towel to get the excess water out of my hair. Towels are rough on hair and I don't want to promote frizz or dry out my hair. So I use one of my husband's old race tees. So he's a big guy and he wears an extra large. So it's a great size. An extra large t-shirt is a great size for wrapping your head, especially if you have a melon head like me. So I'm just going to take this off. What I did is after I washed my hair, I squeezed out the excess water in the shower after I turned the water off, and then I wrapped it in this, this t-shirt. Next step is applying the deep conditioner. Before I get into the deep conditioner, I wanted to let you guys know that when I shampoo my hair, especially one week post relaxer, I focus on the scalp. Sometimes my scalp gets a little dry with the relaxer process, so I want to get those flakes out of my hair and really focus on stimulating my scalp. When you stimulate your scalp by massaging it, it increases blood circulation, which leads to faster growth because that blood is feeding your hair follicle, sending all those yummy nutrients to your hair follicle, allowing it to grow hair faster and stronger and more effectively. If you do get a dry, itchy, flaky scalp after your relaxer, try a root scrub, like a scalp scrub. Shea Moisture just came out with this African Black Soap Bamboo Charcoal Pre-Shampoo Scalp Scrub. It has tea tree oil and willow bark extract. Tea tree oil is an antiseptic and it's great at cleansing the scalp and healing it, whereas willow bark extract is very hydrating and moisturizing. Best of all, what I love about this product is that it comes with this brush, which is a scalp stimulator and it loosens any excess dry skin from your scalp, working it out of your hair. All right, applying the deep conditioner. I love Redken's Frizz Dismiss Mask. It's one of my favorite deep conditioners. It's thick and rich and does a really good job of detangling hair in a gentle manner. So I'm pretty liberal with this stuff. I take a, a big scoop and I start applying it through my hair from root to tip. Now, if you have less hair than me, you don't have to use as much as I do. Just use what you feel comfortable with. This stuff ain't cheap. They're not giving it away, so you don't want to blow through it. Sometimes I mix in the Joyco Moisture Recovery Conditioner in with the Redken Frizz Dismiss condi Conditioner, only because this is a really great detangler. It's, it's one of my favorite conditioners out there. I don't really have to worry about tangles one week post relaxer, but you better believe this stuff saved my life when I was three and a half months post relaxer. I had a ton of regrowth, it was getting hard to detangle, and this stuff softens up the regrowth really nicely, along with the S Curl No Drip Hair Moisturizer that I always use to moisturize and seal my hair. These two together, those two together worked wonders. I'm just going to apply a little through my hair. So that's, oops. That's how much I am putting in my hair. I'm just gonna smooth it over. Like, to me, there's no such thing as too much conditioner. <laughs> I'm just gonna twist it up and I'm gonna wrap it up in plastic again. Sadly, my heat cap stopped working. I need to go out and buy a new one. But normally what I would do is add in my deep conditioner, wrap my hair up in plastic, and then put my heat cap on to allow that heat to penetrate that deep conditioner deep into my hair strands. So I'm just gonna flatten it down. I hate the plastic over my ears, it sounds crazy. And then I'm gonna take my little black microfiber fuzzy turban and wrap it around my hair. It's not as good as the heat cap, but it'll do. It'll, you know, produce a little heat to better penetrate that conditioner into your hair. I twist it, it has a little elastic, see that? And a button at the back of the head. I'm gonna leave this in for about half an hour, an hour, and then I will rinse my hair. 
Okay everyone, I'm back. It's been half an hour that I've left the deep conditioner on my hair and now it's time to rinse it out. I'm going to unwrap everything, hop in the shower, and simply rinse it out. Okay, I'm back. I'm fresh, I'm clean, my hair is all rinsed out, and I am ready to put my leave-in conditioner in and air dry my hair. So again, I have wrapped my hair in my husband's race t-shirt. So I would say it's damp. I'm just going to squeeze out the excess. Okay, so now I'm gonna put in my leave-in conditioner, which is a new one I'm trying. It's by Shea Moisture, Sugarcane Extract, and Meadow Foam Seed, silicone-free Miracle Styler leave-in treatment with marshmallow root. So marshmallow root, sugarcane extract, meadow foam seed, they're all very hydrating natural ingredients and as you guys know if you've been following my channel I've been looking for products that are a little healthier don't contain silicones etc so I'm glad to have found this so if you decide to try this product it is a spray but it comes out really thick so see that so what I do is I just spray a whole bunch into my hand and I oof, comes out with some like serious attitude okay and I work it through my hair. It feels really nice. Um, it's light. Like all Shea Moisture products, smells really, really nice. And does a really great job at detangling. So I like to work it into my roots, right through the ends. And I'm going to part my hair in the middle using this little rat tail comb. Okay, that'll do. Use my trusty wide tooth comb to detangle, and as you can see, there's not too much to detangle. It's great, I love that. This is why deep conditioning is so important. You don't want to add any additional stress to your hair. So, that is it. That is my post relaxer wash day routine. So I'm just going to leave my hair as is and go about my day and let it air dry. I'm not gonna use any heat in my hair. I'm not gonna bother blow drying. And as it's air drying, like every hour, I just kind of comb it out just to make sure that it's straight and not too frizzy or anything. And at night, I will add in my trusty Indigo Luster Glow and I'll add this amount and rub it into my hair, focusing on the ends. And then I will wrap my hair as I do during my nighttime routine. I will link that video for you guys. And yeah, tomorrow morning, it should be pretty straight without flat ironing. It won't be silky stick straight as it would normally be with flat ironing, but it'll be good enough for me. And of course, without the heat damage. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope it's more clear than my other wash day routine video. I know a few of you were confused regarding the steps. If you like this video, again, please like this video and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on notifications so that you don't miss anything. And check out my Instagram. So I've revived the Style Domination Instagram. Feel free to follow me there. I'm gonna start sending out monthly newsletters with hair care tips for us relaxed girls. And you can also follow me on my main Instagram account at dominique.baker. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.